Hi, and we're live. First of all, comment and say hi. Um, my name is Maddie. I'm with Creatively Uncorked, and I'm going to teach you this painting today. So welcome. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit. So while I'm talking, you can get all your materials out, get set up, and get ready to paint. So um, Creatively Uncorked popped its cork back in January 2014. We are located in West Fargo. Um, our studio is ages six and up, and we do public, private party events um, where we celebrate birthdays, bachelorette parties, corporate team building events. And what's nice about these online videos, these paint along sessions, is that you can all comment, and it's a lot more interactive than just it being a recording. So don't be afraid to comment. If you're celebrating anything, let me know. I'll give you a shout out. It's actually one of my good friends' birthday today, and I don't think they're watching today. I think they're gonna watch tomorrow, but I'm still gonna give him a birthday shout out. So happy birthday, Austin. Woo. <laughs> um, and then we do mobile events too. So when this is all, this pandemic stuff is over with, um, if you have a birthday, you want us to come to your neighbor's basement or your aunt's garage, <laughs> we can do that because we like to party. So there's that. And then um, if you've been to one of our classes before, we have two rules. So rule number one is super easy. It's have fun. Yeah. Rule number two is a little bit more difficult sometimes and it's no negativity. So this means that my painting is not going to turn out exactly like the reference photo. It means that we're going to be embracing our individuality. And if, I, um, <laughs> if you need any help or are getting a little frustrated, once again, don't be afraid to comment. I have a lot of tips and pointers that I can give you to help you out. <laughs> um, and then if you're feeling ex like you need extra, extra help, pour yourself a glass, maybe turn on some music in the background so you can loosen up a bit and get into this happy painting zone, okay? Okay. <laughs> um, and then um, the last thing before I move on to my paint, and if you, once again, if you've been to our classes before, you might have done something called the Creatively Uncorked Brush Pledge. So this is just us pledging that we're going to take care of our brushes. And even though we're not together, we're together in spirit. <laughs> so everybody, find your brushes. Hold them in your right hand. And I'm going to ask you to repeat with me. So I'll give you a second to grab your brushes. OK. So um, hold your brushes in your right hand. Place them over your heart and repeat after me. I pinky promise. I pinky promise. Thanks. <laughs> Do not let paint dry on my brushes. Do not let paint dry on my brushes. I'll keep my brushes in my water cup. I'll keep my brushes in my water cup. When I'm not using them. When I'm not using them. I'll do amazing today. Oh, this is so amazing today. Woo, okay. Ooh, okay. <laughs> 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 Whew, got a little trickster in the back. <laughs> okay, but um, I'm going to go through what I have for materials. So if you need to get, oh, Diane, hi. I haven't looked at everybody. The comments, there's a little bit of a delay. So once I'm done talking, I'm going to look and read your comments and say hi to everyone. But if you bought an art kit to go from us, this is what you would have gotten or part of it. We also have instructions, like written instructions for you all. And then depending on the painting, sorry, I have the hiccups already <laughs> okay if depending on the painting you'll get a QR code at the bottom and then you can scan the QR code with your phone and it'll bring you up to like a video and show you how to do it um, anyways so paint these are my paints I'm gonna get them all set up um, the thing with the paints is that we use no um, if you got paint from the studio <laughs> Thanks, Nancy. <laughs> um, so if you got 
paints from our studio, we use non-toxic uh, water-soluble acrylic paint. And so that's a fancy way of saying that if you, and this happens more than you think. Let me go back. I'm going to look at you when I say this. So this happens more than you think, but we use water-soluble, non-toxic paint because um, in our studio, where there's beverages, sometimes people tend to drink their water cups instead of their beverage. So it happens, and it won't kill you, just so you know. <laughs> okay, um, but it does kill your clothes. So if you get any paint on yourself at home, wash it out right away. And I don't need red. Well, I do need a little bit, actually. We don't need black yet, so I'm gonna, just going to move the black to the side. And yeah, so I guess I'm going to scoop some of this out onto my plate. It's nice to have a paper plate uh, to use as a palette. I'm already fleeing paint. Oh, gosh. Um, so... I don't know if any of you, oh, I'm going to ask. Okay, okay. I'll get you caught up. Let me know if you need, if you have any questions, Cheryl. But anyway, so I'm going to scoop all my paint out. Also, I asked this question yesterday, and it was kind of fun to see. So um, are any of you using, did you buy an art, to, an art kit to go from us? Or are you painting with your materials at home? So comment, let me know. Just wondering how much I need to like mention other things. Okay, sorry, just cleaning out my brush. I only need a little bit of red, so I'm not gonna put very much on my plate. I wanna save this for all of our blossoms and our reflections. Woo, almost built. And then white. I am going to scoop a, a lot on my plate. Okay, I don't need to clean my brush because I'm just going to start painting. I also have a second plate. Um, I'm going to show you... Oh my gosh, why did I bring you this plate? Hmm, I don't remember. <laughs> but um, if you need to quickly like draw out the moon, I just traced a cup. So you can trace a cup. And then I just drew out a little dock. Um, but I am going to start painting. Okay. Megan! Oh my gosh, hi! I am going to start painting the background, though. I hope you... I hope that wasn't too loud in your ear. That felt loud. Okay, anyways. I'm going to start painting the background first. So starting at the top, I have blue and white on my brush. Don't forget to use water while you're painting. Awesome, Cheryl. Yes, cool. Okay. Oh, I'm also using this bigger brush. Um, and then I chose a Filbert brush as well. So the Filbert one is the one that has the arced bristles. And this is my, my favorite brush, so I'll probably always use this one instead of a small round brush or stuff like that but um, I'm looking at <laughs> thanks okay <laughs> thanks for the reassurance Megan because I yeah okay anyways so I'm starting at the top with blue and white and I'm going back over it because I felt like it was getting pretty light so we're just gonna paint all the way down to our horizon line I'm going to be careful around our moon. So whenever you see this texture right here, this rough texture, that's your paint telling you that you need more water. Okay? So I don't know. Um, I'm just going to dip my brush into some water. It's going to help my paint spread a little bit more. Um, Okay, you guys answered my questions fast, so I love it. Also, I'm going to ask, because I see two people, and I'm good with faces, I'm not good with names, so I see two people that I recognize from my classes. Um, so, have any of you been in my classes before? 
you should comment if you have. And what painting you've done with me. Because that will that be super cool. Um, I, my hair's like usually curly and in a bun, but I straightened it today. <laughs> if that helps. But anyways, so the closer I get to my horizon line, I'm actually going to use teal. A little bit of teal. Um, but I'm getting ahead of myself, so I'm just going to paint. There, that's probably good enough. I also use my fingers a lot to fix my mistakes or smudge stuff, I guess. <laughs> but um, now that I have probably like one finger of space in between our horizon line and our sky, I'm just going to use watered down teal and blend this into your sky. We don't want a, an obvious um, streak of teal at the bottom. And I'm actually going to bring this up a little bit more just because um, we're going to be painting mountains and I want to be able to see the teal. So depending on how high I make my mountains, I just want to be on the safe side and bring my teal up a little bit more. Oh, it's, there's a glare. Getting close to that moon again. Okay. Um, so my background of my sky is really wet. Um, I've actually used too much water down in this corner. So this is a great way to see. So if we ever use too much water, it's going to turn our paint transparent. And we don't want to see our, our canvas through it. So I'm just going to easy fix, add more paint. Okay. Also, let me know if I'm going too fast. But I'm cleaning out my brush. I got rid of all that teal. Oh, you probably didn't have to, but I'm going to start at the bottom now, and I'm going to go in with blue, and I'm going to work my way, actually no, I'm going to start right here, blue and white, because that blue gets so dark, so mixing blue and white, have this medium blue color, I'm going to use a little bit more water around, oh, you know what we can do? I'm going to do this quick just because there's a Sharpie here. So if anyone is still working on your background. But I'm just going to outline my dock so I can see it. And this is going to be a very sketchy outline just because I'm going to be painting it in. Where's my, my handy dandy reference photo? So obviously I'm going to be painting this in solid. So I'm just going to mark out where the posts go. I'm also going to draw things smaller than what they probably are, actually. Just in case I mess up, I can make the dock a little bit bigger. Or the, whatever these posts are called. Or, or the posts, make the posts bigger. But we're just going to do the same thing with the water. So if you are trying to find a Sharpie, so you can outline yours. Um, no rush. Um, okay. So I'm going to make my colors darker at the bottom and then Closer to up here, I'll dip back into like teal. Maybe I'll add a little bit of white to really lighten it up, make like an aqua color. Um, yeah, I'm going to do that right now, actually. So I'm going to... I have blue on my brush, so now it's getting to be like an aqua color. I just didn't feel like cleaning out my brush, 
So you can use pure teal or use your dirty brush. And but I like this color, so it worked out. And now I'm dipping into just pure teal. So just pure teal, putting this right at the horizon line. Um, another thing is I'm going to just leave one, one little sliver of white showing just so I know where to go in and add my mountains because I don't want to, um, you know, accidentally add my mountains too low or something. Okay, so after the teal, once again, let me know if I'm going too fast. Um, I know there's a little bit of a delay, so just let me know. Okay, good talk. <laughs> so I'm going to start adding in the darker blue at the bottom. So use water, dip into your blue. Ooh, you know what? That's a lot of dark blue. I'm going to add one more streak of teal, just like down here. I really like how the, sorry, um, too fast. Thank you, Samantha. I'll slow down. Um, I really like how the teal looks with this blue, so I'm just going to add in a little bit more. Uh, what's nice about these paintings and painting in general is how much you can, you know, make it your own. You don't have to follow me exactly. So if you love, love, love the aqua color, go ahead and add more teal in. Or if you are a major fan of dark blue, you know, you know what to do. Hit it with some dark blue. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm going to give you all a second to, you know, get caught up. Don't want to move on too fast. Okay. So, I'm going to move on. Um, what we're going to do next is paint inside our moon and then the little reflection. So, I'm just going to take, you know what, I'm going to use my other brush. So I'm going to use a smaller brush, depending on what brushes you're using. Um, honestly, just use whatever brush you feel like you can control more. So I'm going to use this one. I have a lot of water on my brush, so I'm going to dab it off quick. I'm just going to do a fast white base coat on my moon. And then we're going to go in and start adding on the little craters. And I'm going to try to make this moon shape look a little bit more circular. But no guarantees because it won't be perfect and I'm okay with that. Ooh, that looks pretty good. Um, okay, another question for you all is how many of you have painted on a live paint along before? Because I've asked if you've done or if you've been in any of my classes before. And um, so now I'm asking if you've been on a live paint along and maybe which one if you have time to reply, I guess. 
Okay. Whew, that looks good. So, um, I'm going, you know what, I'm going to let this sit for a little bit because there's a lot of thick white on there. I don't want to over, like, add too much paint. So, since I have white on my brush, I'm going to start doing the reflection. And I'm going to, it's going to be kind of smushed. <gasps> Megan, it's your first live. Awesome. I'm glad <laughs> that it was me. Okay, so I'm going to do like a, um, I can only think of a word. I should use a different word. I'm not totally painting like the per world's perfect circle here because after I have a good amount of white, notice it's like half the size of the actual moon, but I'm going to kind of wipe my paintbrush off and then very lightly just like scribble over the top. Don't forget to use water. So I have more white. Oh, you did the vase live? Oh, fun. I painted that painting, so I'm biased, but I like that painting. <laughs> Okay, there might be a little too much white going on, and I don't love how I can still see this circle outline. Well, actually, I don't, I don't know yet. But, so after, three or four, Patsy, yes. You rock. <laughs> but, so after I have my white on, and my paint from the bottom of my like the water is still wet so that's how I got the teals and the blues going on in there but I want to break up this white so I'm just gonna mix like a medium blue Ooh, that might be a little too dark yeah let's add a little bit more white in so let's do a medium to light blue there oh. And then another thing to just like watch out for is, um, and I'll probably say this a couple times throughout this video, but I'm also gonna bring in a little bit of teal. Um, I don't know if I finished my sentence, but what you're gonna hear me say a lot is don't overwork anything. The only thing that I kept on working was my moon, except now, so the paint is really thick, oh sorry, the paint is getting pretty thick because I've been adding a lot. Okay, thanks Megan. So I'm going to let this dry, so if you keep on painting what's going to happen is it's going to pick up the paint underneath and the paint will just kind of clump and you'll just be able to see pure white canvas underneath. And I don't want that to happen, so I'm just going to let this dry. We'll have lots of opportunities to come back and finish and fix and yeah. So I'm going to add the craters on my moon. So I'm dipping my brush into teal, but I have water to thin it out. So water, teal, I'll probably end up going back in with white. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty bright, actually. So I'm going to mix white into my teal to make like a nice pastel teal or a pale teal color. And then if you have a paper towel, another thing you can do, and we'll be doing this tomorrow too, is you're just going to kind of dab the craters a little bit. So I'm going to add some more. I 
Maybe add some more white to it to make a lighter teal in some spot, like an even, like a very, very pale teal. Um, less is more with this step. We don't want to completely turn our moon teal. Paint it outside my lines a little bit, but I'm just going to kind of take it off with some water. So that's what I love about painting is how easily you can fix things. Um, I'm ready. I'm at the part where I'm ready to add purple. And we're going to do purple on the water and in the moon too. So I don't want to go too fast while our people are um, coming over to this new video. But I'm, I'm just mixing a purple right now to add to the water and to the bottom of my moon. What I'm doing now is I just kind of stopped on my moon for now because we are mixing teal, or teal. We're mixing purple to add to the water and to the moon. But first, oh, thank you, Samantha. This next step is the last thing we do to the water and the moon, and then it's going to be like a dry break. So I'm going to show you the last two steps, and then we can get caught up, and I can answer any questions if you have questions. But I mixed a purple on my plate with red and blue. It's a pretty dark purple, and this purple is going to go underneath the dock. So I'm going to mix a little bit more red into it, just because my, my purple is a little too bluish. OK, so I'm painting kind of right underneath the line of my dock. And then I'm doing horizontal brush strokes outward. Make sure that these are horizontal. Oh wait, I probably brought that shadow up a little too far. Hmm. Maybe not. Make sure that these brush strokes are as, I want to say straight as you can. Um, straight not, might not be the right word because it doesn't matter if there's like a little bit of a wiggle to them, but as long as they are horizontal. So we don't want any lines like dipping down. Otherwise the shadow might look funky and it might look like your dock is like caving into the water or something like that. So just try to keep them as horizontal as you can. I probably brought the shadow out a little bit too far. Um, and I'm not too worried about that because we're gonna be adding these like pink, oh, wrong one. We're going to be adding these pink like reflections from the blossoms. Okay. So that purple's very, very dark. Hmm. I think I'm going to add like the tiniest dot of white to it and go over it. Um, yes, you're going to have access to this video. Um, how long do the lives They're stay on the live? Yeah, these videos on the, the group page are going to stay up a lot longer than the ones on our main page. So if you need to come back and watch, this will be here for you. Good question. Awesome. 
So I just added a little bit of a lighter purple on top. That looks better because the shadow is going to be black, or the shadow, <laughs> the dock is going to be black. So that's going to be kind of hard to see if my purple is really, really dark. So I just added white to lighten it up so we can tell the difference between the dock and the shadow of the dock. Okay, I'm still second guessing myself. Uh, you know what, that looks good. It looks a lot darker on the camera or on the screen than it is in real life. So I would add more white than you think. Um, however, it's still kind of a dark purple, so. I'm gonna add more white to my purple for my moon. So this is gonna be a lighter purple. And this purple has a little bit more, I think, red in it than blue. Um, and then less is more with these. So all I'm going to do is kind of circle on. Oh, sorry, my head's in the way. I'm just going to start circling on some craters. But these are going to be on closer to the bottom. Ooh, that's still so dark. So just going to scoop up more white. We're going for pastel purple. Oh, I like that way more. Okay. I also use my fingers a lot when I'm painting to just kind of like dab it, make it look less prominent. Okay, I still see some people joining back in, so let me know if you have any questions. Or if you're like, what the hey, I don't know what to do. Um, just send me a comment. Okay. Ooh, my moon kind of looks like a smiley face. So I'm going to... <laughs> Get rid of this a little bit. And then I'm going to get rid of this eyeball shape. So you all have time because we're going to be on our like dry break. We might need to do a second one. Well, we might not actually. Um, but we're on our dry break right now, so if any of you need to get caught up or if you have questions and you f you'll finally have time to ask me. But you can also t do any touch-ups that you want to fix. Um, check with your reflection. Make sure that it's dry before you add or fix anything. Just because if you put paint on top of somewhat dry paint, it'll just pick <laughs> the paint up off the bottom. And it's, it's going to be a pain. So just make sure it's dry before you add. Any more reflections? I think these ripples are going to look a little odd until we add the shadow ripples underneath the mountains. So, 
Oh, okay, Patsy. It's um, it's a purple color, but the the camera is making this show up really, really dark. So it's actually kind of like a medium to dark color purple. I wonder if if I bring it up closer. So I accidentally made my purple too dark to the point where it looked almost black. And then I went over the top with some brighter purple that I mixed. And I think this will look better. We just don't want it to be too dark because the dock is black. And then the shadow is just going to make the dock look a little wonky. Um, okay, so we're officially on our like dry break. So if you have any questions, let me know. Oh, I didn't see you, Anne. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, how did I do the purple on the moon? I mixed a very, very pale purple color, or pastel purple. I started, you can kind of see it. I started with a darker purple, and I didn't realize how dark it was until I put it on there. And then so I just added like a crap ton of white to lighten it up and then I just put it on the bottom the same way we did the teal where you just kind of like swirl your brush over over the canvas and then if you need your paper towel to like dab anything okay I'm gonna keep going with my smaller brush and we're gonna start adding the ripples in the water or I should the reflections so um, pink reflections of the blossoms so now I'm probably gonna need more red I'm gonna scoop out some red and then I'm going to add some white not too much because we don't want like a light pink we want more of a magenta color wow I just did exactly what I said not to do. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> but so here's a, it's a more medium red. So kind of in between those two colors. It's like they made a baby right there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to add in these reflections. And one thing, oh, I forgot to tell you. Um, anytime we're doing with or we're working with lines, so if you look at my paintbrush, you can see all the globs of paint on there. This is gonna, oh, sorry. <laughs> this is gonna give you really thick lines and it's not gonna be um, that easy to work with. So, what I do and what I always tell people in my classes to do is to kind of make X's with your brush. I guess I'll show you on this plate. So I'm just going to smooth flip, smooth flip my brush. And then it like compresses your bristles. So you'll be able to get that nice thin, I don't know if you're able to see that, nice thin lines. Um, also use water. Do not forget to use water while you're painting. And who knows, I'm probably going to put this paint color on and it's going to be too dark. But we'll see. Oh, that's not bad. Okay, so I'm trying, oh, it looks very dark on the screen. So add more white than you think. Add more white than you think. Um, oh, now that's bright, okay. Yeah, um, so when I say add more white than you think, just be careful. Don't make it very pastel pink. Um, Yes. Anyways, I'm going to start painting the reflections. So when I'm doing ripples in the water, um, I'm going to be doing like all different size lines to create the ripple effect. And another thing is I tell people in my classes to don't paint with your wrist because when I see people painting with their wrist like this, they make rainbow brush strokes. And then it looks like their ground is caving in, or there's like a sinkhole or something. So it's all in your shoulders. So when I'm painting, it's going to be I'm moving my like shoulder, 
my wrist is not moving or I guess like my whole arm is moving back and forth just like this and then there's less reflections on the right side than on the left side so I'm just gonna have sporadic lines some longer lines shorter Okay, so I'm just going to add a couple more reflections. <laughs> Yesterday at our live, we talked about turning like these videos into a drinking game <laughs> because I always say the same like three things over and over again. And I was just going to say it. <laughs> but for the 5,000th time, less is more. You can always add stuff, but it's a lot harder to paint over things. So. <laughs> If you're playing along, that's a drink. <laughs> okay. But um, anyways, so I'm going to start doing the background. So I need water. Oops. Mix water into your paint. <clears throat> and I'm going to do it on the... Um, left side now, the left side of our dock, and these colors are a lot more condensed. So over here we have sporadic, sporadic lines, not very many. We can still see the blue through, um, but this one I'm going to do a lot more, except I, it's hard because I'm right-handed, so I can't, you can't see it, but it's very awkward. I'm like leaning across my body. So I'm going to rotate this at an angle, so hopefully you're okay with that. <laughs> Just really quick. Remember, um, keep your lines as horizontal as possible. Otherwise, it's going to look like your ground is caving in or your water has like a sinkhole. OK. And then the closer up my water, so the closer you get to your moon, the pink reflections or ripples, whatever you want to call them, are a lot more sporadic again. So these are kind of tapering off the closer you get to your moon. So I'll maybe add like two more really small lines or something so they look like they're off in the distance. Oh, that's such a good question. <laughs> so we're showing two different videos be or two different angles because we have two different cam. Well, technically we have like three different cameras, but um, I know sometimes I paint with my hand covering what I'm doing. So then this camera angle right here is really nice to have. So awesome question. I feel so cool explaining it. Like. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to add a little bit more pink in this corner. Oof, that line got thick. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is wait a second for it to dry a little bit and then paint over it because that got pretty bright and then your eye goes like straight to this thing because it's the lightest thing in like the darkest part of my canvas. So easy fix, I'll just paint over it. Not too concerned yet. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to probably call it good on my reflections. Um, I don't want to add too many, so that's what I'm afraid of, is always overworking things. That should be on our drinking game, too. <laughs> well, let's make like a bingo board every time. <laughs> yes, every time Maddie says 
<laughs> okay. We're adding that in. <laughs> okay. Um, so I'm probably going to call it good on these. It looks a little dark on this camera, so it's tricking me. I don't know if I want to um, make my pink a little bit lighter. But I just fixed up that little mark right there by adding some blue. <clears throat> Let me know if I'm going too fast, but I'm going to move on to all the black now. And that's actually going to be, let me think, the mountains. So we're going to do the mountains now. Let me know if I'm going too fast. Uh, I have to get my black out onto my really messy palette. So I'm just going to find like a dry spot of paint. Oh, another thing. Um, I mean, if you guys aren't too busy and you have time to comment, we've been making, or I guess I, I'm sure my coworkers have too, but um, new paintings. So if you have any requests of paintings, like springy fun paintings that you want to paint, comment. Because I'm not, I mean, I painted these rain boots with flowers in them and they're adorable. And I want to add some more fun springy paintings that we could do every Friday night because my, all my, so we're starting to do, I don't know if I mentioned this in this video, but every day, the next couple weeks, we're going to do a live every day. So Monday through Saturday. Monday through Friday. Monday through Friday. A couple of extra days thrown in. Yeah, a couple of extra days thrown in, but we're going to do lives every single day and my day is friday so if you're ready to party here we go <laughs> what do we what do we call it friday arty parties <laughs> okay, friday arty oh, parties man. with maddie party <gasps> oh my gosh why is that the cutest thing ever because <laughs> your face is in it oh oh my <laughs> gosh oh I'm not crying, you're crying. <laughs> okay, so I don't know if you heard that, but we're doing, is it a YouTube page or? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It'll be in our YouTube channel. Yeah. So we have a YouTube channel and all these videos are going there. So when they do eventually um, get taken out, down off of Facebook, all of our um, videos will be on our YouTube page. And so my page is called Party Arty <laughs> with Maddie. <laughs> Because, of course, that is my, yes, a thousand percent. Okay, so we're going to do black. I have water and black paint on my brush. First thing I'm doing is painting a horizontal line. That's actually pretty good, pretty straight. Woof. Wow. I'm proud of that line. It doesn't matter if it's straight because we're going to be adding shadows underneath and a mountain on top. So, um, Another thing that I like about painting is you can always paint over stuff you don't like. Or maybe not always, but um, as Bob Ross would say, like you put like a happy little tree in front of something, <laughs> I think. Oh gosh, don't quote me on that. Um, but. I don't love the bottom of my moon, so I'm going to cover it. So if you're looking at our reference photo, you I know the last time I painted this painting, I wanted to show my bottom, bottom of my moon off because I accidentally painted it higher. Um, but this time, I'm going to kind of follow along, paint my mountains. Ooh, that mountain went up pretty high or higher than I was, you know, going for, but it actually looks pretty close to that original painting. Okay. So, I'm going to just paint in my mountains now. Um, another thing, so like I didn't mention this, um, but sometimes, I mean, I haven't taught a class in a while, because of, you know, what's been going on. But um, 
when I did, I would be, or I would see people paint like the perfect triangle mountaintops. So try to stay away from that just because it doesn't look as natural looking as like the more organic shapes. So as you're going, just try to like intentionally shake your hand or if you do have a shaky hand already, this is your moment to shine, okay? <laughs> but um, so n try to stay away from perfect, oh, as I paint on my, as I paint on my moon. Try to stay away from the perfect um, triangle mountains, okay? Um, I'm going to show you the next step, and then I'm going to fix my moon since I just painted on it. If you want to see it, it's right there. It's that black line. <laughs> okay. So I have black on my brush again, a little bit of water, and you should all be pros at this by now because we've done it like three times, but we're going to be adding the ripple reflections. So it's all on your shoulder. I'm not starting right at the shoreline or the bottom of the mountain. I'm going to start like below it and then just follow the shapes of your mountain. So obviously if it's like super, super tall, I'll, maybe I'll just bring the shadow down a little bit more than where I would, where it's really thin or short. So I'll probably just do like one little line there. And then try to have like longer lines, shorter lines, thicker, thinner. Ooh, that got a little. Um, I don't want it to look solid black even though this one has pretty thick, solid shadows, and it looks like perfect, you know? So it doesn't really matter. Personal preference, I love painting these little thin ripple lines. So I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing. Everybody has their own style. Even if you've never painted before, I hear people say that all the time. Like they're surprised when I say like, oh, I don't know what I say. <laughs> Something about a style, they're like surprised. <laughs> I know, words of wisdom from Maddie. There's our other YouTube channel. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, <laughs> we have to, sorry if that laugh was really loud, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, we're just really filling out our bingo, <laughs> our bingo sheet here. Oh, Friday nights, don't people have bingo those nights too? So painting and bingo in one, come on. That sounds like a pretty great idea actually. We'll just send everybody a <laughs> <laughs> bingo sheet. I've actually, ne oh, that's a lie. I've done bingo once and it was amazing, but I didn't win. Yeah, yeah, I've never won. I know, it's like, what? And then my boyfriend's like family, they always go, or yeah, they always go, and they, it seems like they always win, like $200 or something. I'm not one of the lucky ones, I guess. That's fine. <laughs> okay. Um, let me know if I'm going too fast or if I'm going too slow, because I've been trying to, like, you know, pace myself, but it's so hard. When you're all like in the studio with me, it's so easy to tell if you're ready to move on or if I need to repeat a step. Um, but here it's hard, so let me know, please. I just feel bad. Okay, while you're maybe getting caught up or passing me, I don't know, <laughs> um, I'm just gonna fix my moon. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do um, are the branches. So somebody let me know if you need, if you have questions or if I'm going too slow. Okay, I'm black paint. Make sure you're doing your X's for this step. It's so important. Um, I'm also 
going to try to follow along with like the placement of each branch. Obviously, I'm not going to follow it along like super, um, what do you call it? I'm thinking a word. Oh my gosh, perfectly, I guess we'll say. But I am, since my canvas is smaller, even though it's like pro still proportionate, I might not have enough room. So, moral of the story is focus on your painting, kind of visualize it, plan it out ahead of time, because there's been many a times where I'm painting and then I accidentally, like, make my trees too close together and it's just one big blob or something like that. So I'm going to start up at the top right corner and I'm going to paint down but I'm not going to paint all the way to my moon. So I'm just going to paint out one branch. Um, I'm holding my brush kind of, okay let me back up. I'm using the side of my brush when I'm painting so I can get like a nice line Obviously, if you use the tip, you'll get a finer line, but I'm going to save that more for like the background or the other branches. So right now, we just want to focus on the main branches and then we're going to branch out. Ha! Thanks. I know. I know you all laughed at my pun. So <laughs> and do the smaller branches. But. So I've got my main branches going. Maybe I'll do the one right there. Um, another thing with the branches is we don't want to wave our brush too much. So I've seen a lot of people who like maybe are a little nervous and they see the little wave in mine and then they kind of really squiggle theirs and it looks like an octopus arm. So, um, <laughs> less is more for a uh, bingo. You just won. Oh, less is more? <laughs> yes. Are you really writing this down? I think I already have that one. I have that one. Okay. And then I said, um, what was it? Don't overwork anything if that wasn't on there before. Do it now. Okay. This one I do want overlapping my moon. Um, <laughs> My branch kind of dipped down a little too much, so maybe I'll add like a second one up here, or ooh, or we'll just do like another main one that comes. Ah, see, that's nice. It like frames the moon. Okay, so now I'm gonna do my smaller branches. can't really see that one, but we know it's there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Did you, are you watching? Megan says she's totally down to have a Maddie Bingo painting night. <laughs> and I'm down too. See you there some Friday. <laughs> um, I really miss our, uh, what do we call it? Trivia, trivia paintings. That, those were so fun. Yeah. We haven't done that in a while. Yeah. Um, it seemed like every painting that, like, Megan and I, well, Megan's friends and myself, <laughs> we did trivia. And it was probably, like, the most fun ever. Uh, okay. So I'm going to just keep doing the smaller branches. Do I add a branch up here? Uh, I'm a little scared, so we'll just do a smaller one. Don't worry too much about how your branches look because we're going to be covering them. Um, okay. So I'm going to stop right there. Nope, I lied. Clean my brush for nothing. So I'm going to add a smaller one right here. Okay. 
I'm going to start painting in my, I just noticed this white showing. Oh, we're lagging again. Oh. Okay, we're going to move on to our, um, so if you have a flat bristled brush, that's, this is gonna be so nice for you to um, paint your dock with. And I know people who bought their art kits to go, I think you all got a flat brush. So A plus, good for you. But I'm just gonna start painting in my dock. Holy cow. We are in the home stretch of our painting, even with all this technical difficulties. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So one thing when you are painting your dock, um, since we're painting everything black, we're not going to be able to see the tops of the posts. So keep that in mind. Um, that's why uh, if you bought an art kit, you got a line drawn, like a vertical line drawn down um, for each post. So that's going to be helpful when you're when we're adding the highlights to our dock. And then for the post, I'm just going to hold my brush vertically and paint these little vertical posts, or lines, I should say. That look like posts. Oh, oh gosh. Do I add one right here on the corner? If someone's not busy and you're brave enough, you should comment. <laughs> Give me advice. So on the opposite side, I, you can see I'm just painting the bottoms of the posts. Do I add? Hmm. Okay, I'm skipping it for now. So while our um, dock is drying, we're going to add the highlight to our mountain. So I'm mixing a really watered down white. So and my water is kind of like this bluish gray color. So my white is bluish gray and that's okay. It's going to look white against the black. So I'm not too worried. But I'm going to do really short, choppy, squiggly highlights against the mountain. Oh, I got you. Thanks, Meg. Yes, you're right. Okay. <laughs> oh, I remember that now. Megan, the birthday party. That was fun. Oh my gosh, that was fun. When was that? How long ago was that? Oh. Because I felt like, hmm, maybe that was during the summer or the fall. Oh, I don't remember. That was fun. That was a really fun class. Your friends are fun. <laughs> okay, but while I have white on my brush, I'm going to add a little bit of a highlight on the shoreline. So this is like the closest thing to our mountains, but I'm kind of making it really sketchily. Okay, so my branches should be dry, so hopefully yours are all dry too, but I'm going to start adding the leaves. 
and it's just a lot it's very repetitive and we're gonna be stippling the whole time so no matter what brush you have we should all just be tapping our brushes to stipple them up sorry I have the hiccups again <clears throat> Okay, so I'm going to mix like a lot of different pinks too, but for now I'm just going to start with like a darker one because we want our brightest leaves or blossoms to be on the top. And then if you are using a brush similar to mine, holy cow, that's a lot of paint on there. Do your, do your X's. Oh, if, if that bing goes for me, I always say do your X's. <laughs> I don't know if people would know what that means, but well, words. Happen. Yes. <laughs> okay, but um, if you're using a filbert brush, I, or I guess even, even a, but with any brush, um, kind of try to like tap and twist the brush in your fingers. So as I go, I'm going to tap. So I'll show you right here. So up here, I'm going to tap. Here's like a thin leaf. As I twist, I'm going to get different kind of leaf shapes. And then another thing, and I'm staying close to my branch for now. Um, all there. So this is actually a better example. My first one, not so much. But right here, you can see the thin and the thick lines. And that's all from twisting my brush while I'm dabbing or stippling. Ooh, this is hard on the table. I'm so used to painting. I don't know. If any of you have been to our classes before, all the artists stand up at the front of the like the room on a podium or not a podium stadium or mm, like a platform and then there's a big easel up there too um so this painting on the table is new but i have to say i like it because i like how small these canvases are i feel like i can focus on the details a lot more Um, we don't want to add too many leaves with this color because we're going to be adding probably like two more colors. Oh, another thing, go over the branch. So a lot of times when I teach classes where we are putting leaves on our branches, I see a lot of people go like this. And I mean like it's pretty and you can tell it's a tree. But if we want it to be more natural looking, go over the branch too. So like hide the branch in some spots by painting over it. Oof, that one got a little big. I'll just put a lighter um, leaf over the top. Uh, I already don't remember if I mentioned this, but um, we want some of the leaves kind of floating. So you can have your leaves like coming off of your branch and connected like these. But then I also kind of want some, and I'll probably do this more so with the brighter pinks. But I'll have some like coming down off the branch so it's not touching the branch at all. Oh, there's one more branch. Whoops. Okay. 
So I'm almost done with this color. Oh, there's a good, this is one like not touching the branch at all. It's just kind of floating off there. And it gives our um, trees a little bit more fuller look. So I'm going to mix a lighter pink now and do the same thing, but lighter colors. And then, oh, that's pretty. Awesome. I love the shapes of these leaves. It's the face camera. Do you need it again? No. Um. Okay. So that looks white, but those are light pink. They got pretty, pretty light, but. I'm also gonna do some leaves going the opposite way. So this whole time I've been starting on the branch and brushing down, and that's how I get these like rounded leaf shapes, but if I go the other way, like this, we'll get some pointed leaf textures, which I think will be like a fun contrast. That leaf got a little thick. I'll put um, some white over it, break that color up or that blob up. Okay. Oops. I'm just going to add some final ones, like really, really random floating <laughs> leaves. Okay, and then the last thing that I'm doing to the tops of the trees are I'm adding almost pure white. And maybe the pure white will be like the closest to the moon, so it looks like a highlight. So I'm not going to put it on every branch. Or maybe I'll just put it on like the tops and middle of each branch. I 
I see a lot of empty places on the edge, so I'm just going to kind of add some. Okay. My branches really covered up my sky. So when I add stars, I probably won't add that many. I'll probably keep them closer to like the tops. Um, and then the last thing that we're going to do um, will be the reflections on the dock. So I'm going to start with a watered down white. I'm just going to dab on, it's going to be kind of like a flattened oval shape on the tops of the posts. There's no shadow on the right side, so I'm going to paint over that. But it's like a skinny oval shape. Whoops on the tops of the posts and then I know you can't see the tops but I'm just kind of painting a circle or a flattened oval and that's going to be like the top of where my post is Too much paint. Make sure to use water for the step to thin out your paint. I guess the ones in the back have a highlight on both sides. I'm going to actually make this post a little bit bigger since it's closer to us. Okay, and then I'm going to add a white highlight on both sides of the dock. I want my line to be really thin and sketchy so my lines might not connect. So just like a really thin, um, fast outline. I'm also going to do like a second one on that side so it looks almost like a like the ledge before the edge of the dock. And then I'm also going to do just a couple Oh, I like how I said just a couple. Um and then I painted like 12 lines. But I'm not going to do as many white lines as these ones, just because they, it looks, and I don't know if it's maybe the picture, but it just looks like a ton of white lines. So I'm going to do these for now because the majority of the dock is covered in like blossom reflections. So you can decide if you want to do a lot more or yeah. It's your choice, personal preference, artistic license, whatever you want to call it. Um, but I'm going to do the reflection on the dock now. So when I'm doing this, make sure that your brush strokes are as horizontal as you can. I mean, it doesn't matter if they're like super straight, if there's a little bit of a wiggle, but as long as they're horizontal. And I'm going to do a couple different colors of pink. I 
Okay. Maybe I'll do a little bit more red now. And then a very, very pale white. Um, let me know if I'm going too fast. This is going to be like the last step of our painting. Um, so if you have any questions, I guess now's your time to ask before, because I just don't want to end the video with you having questions, I guess. So try to comment right now. I know you might be busy painting. I'm adding this very, very light pink. It, it might look white on your screen. Ah, yeah. It's a very, very pale pink color. I accidentally painted over that ledge, so I'm going to just paint it black again. Okay. And I think I am done. Oh, I lied. We need stars. So for the stars, this is probably the easiest part of our whole painting. We use the back of our brush. I'm just going to dip it into white paint and then start dotting on stars. I'm going to try to keep them. Those are so bright. So I'm just putting my finger over to dull them down. And I'm just dotting these stars wherever I see blue, I guess. I think that might be good. And then I'm also going to do it in the bottom, like the water's reflection. Okay. So I'm done. My water or my brushes are in my water cups cup and I'm gonna sign my painting like an artist with a sharpie <laughs> so I'm not gonna do my whole name just because my name's long so I'm just gonna do my initials Okay, wait, I'm reading a comment right now. I like this one the best. But... Aw, thank you. Or wait, are you saying you like mine? <laughs> uh, okay. So, I'm done. I'm glad you said that because... I was thinking I covered up a lot of the sky with the leaves, but I, I think painting the leaves are so fun, so I'm not upset about it because it was really fun just like stippling on all the leaves and building up those layers. So um, I think this is it. Just double checking. Don't want to miss anything. Yeah. Okay. So. I'm done. If you have any questions, I'll you could always comment on this video and maybe I'll see them. <laughs> but um, I just want to remind you all, and I'm super excited about this painting because it's really fun. Oh my gosh, thanks Bridget. Good, I'm glad. I was a little nervous there. Um, but I'm glad you said that, so thank you. And if you're looking for more fun, hell, <laughs> this painting is tomorrow at 7 um, on the main Facebook page. And I'm teaching this one again. It's my third 
in a row. And I love teaching these trees. So if you like pine trees, and if you like me, you know where to find me <laughs> tomorrow at 7. Um, and it's a Saturday night, so I'm ready to party if you guys are. <laughs> okay, so good talk. <laughs> but I'll catch you tomorrow. Oh, yes, look at the comments. There's a link. Probably important. I don't know. Um, if you have, let me see, could you paint this with almost? You could almost paint this painting. So if you need any paint, obviously go to creativelyuncorked.com for any art kits. Or, two. oh yeah, order by two. Oh, two by yeah, two. By 2 so oh, do we close at four? Yeah. Yes, I forgot. Saturdays we close at four. So if you have picked up an art kit before, you probably hear us go, or we call you and we're like, we'll be at the studio from 12 to 6. But on Saturdays, it's 12 to 4. So if you do need anything, um, call, or I mean, put your order in before 2, and then come pick it up around 4, and we'll, we'll give you a call when it's ready and stuff. Um, I'm really excited about this painting, so hopefully I see you again tomorrow, and if you are there tomorrow, Comment and I'll give you a shout out because we're now best friends, even though you might not know it. <laughs> okay, good talk. Okay, bye. <laughs>